Hello there, welcome to quickly learn. In this video, we are going to cover zoning topic. If you are aware of the HBA and storage technology, then in a science rich environment with the zoning, we can connect our server and the storage box. So let's deep dive into the zoning. Let's get started. So let's see what is zoning actually. Simple definition of the zoning is, it is a logical subset of physical devices to get access control, load balancing, security, and performance. So let me tell you one thing that in SAN environment, zoning is not compulsory. But if you have more than 100 devices, then you may require a zoning, okay? And once you create a zone for a single device, it is compulsory to create a zone for all the devices which are connected in a SAN environment. In zoning, there are three methods available. So first method is one-to-one, -one. second method is one-to-many, and third method is many-to-many. -many. In one-to-one, -one, you can see HBA1 and SPA port 1, okay? So we can create a zoning between the HBA1 and SPA port 1. So in this diagram, you can see we have a server, okay? In the server, we have two HBA cards available. For redundancy purpose, we prefer to have two HBA cards. So HBA1 is connected to the SAN switch and HBA2 is also connected to the SAN switch. For better understanding, I have used only one SAN switch over here so that in coming examples, I'll be able to explain zoning uh, with an easy way, okay? And um, this is our storage box. In storage box, we have SPA and SPB part. So with SPA, port one is available and with SPB, port one is available, okay? So here you can see with one to one, HBA one, okay? So this HBA one and this port SPA, port one, okay? We can do zoning. In one to many, HBA one, okay? Will be zoned with the SPA P1 and SPB P1, okay? So with these two ports, we can zone our single HBA card. Most of the time, if we have a standalone machine, so in that case, we go with the one to many method, okay? And uh, many to many method is also available where we add multiple HBA cards, okay? Into the zone, in this example, HBA1 and HBA2 are in a same zone and those are zoned with the SPA P1 and SPA, SPB P1, okay? So many to many zoning we use in case of a cluster, okay? So if you know about the cluster, uh, cluster, it is a collection of two or more nodes to achieve the high availability of application. And whenever you want to configure a cluster uh, at the storage level in a sand switch level, we need to do the many to many zoning. Okay, let's move to the next slide. Then uh, in a zoning, uh, there are two types available. First type is a soft zoning and second type is the hard zoning okay and it is very easy to understand okay so you can see in a definition in a soft zoning we use wwpn of server hbas and storage port <coughs> storage ports okay so example over here let's say our server name is windows okay and uh, uh, we have decided to you know use uh, windows h1 underscore emc uh, as a zone name so in that case we'll require wwpn of hba1 then WWPN of SPA P1 and WWPN of SPB P1. Okay, so for better understanding, I have used one to many zoning over here. Okay, so that method we are using. So same for the second zone also, win H2 underscore EMC. And in that WWPN of HBA2, WWPN of SPA P1 and WWPN of SPB P1 we have added. Okay, so in this example, you can see we have used the WWPN number of HBA, okay, and the storage ports, okay. So when we use uh, uh, these uh, ports actually, so we call it as a soft zoning. In market, 100%, in market, 100% we go with the soft zoning only. We don't go with the hard zoning. But this is also uh, one of the important interview question. What is soft zoning and hard zoning? So you should know, you know, how to do the hard zoning and what is hard zoning actually. So it's easy to understand. 
in hard zoning we use wwpn number of sand switch ports wwpn okay so uh, basically uh, sand switch port wwpn number how do we use that one let's say our hba1 is connected to sand switch port 1 okay so let's say the number is s1 okay so in case of a hard zone uh, our zone name is a uh, win h1 underscore emc same name we are using over here only different wwpn numbers we are using in case of a hard zone okay so why s1 because our hba1 is connected to the first port of the sand switch then this spap1 okay is connected to the seventh port of the sand switch and this spb uh, p1 is connected to the eighth port of the sand switch same for the window h2 win h2 underscore emc so in this case uh, we are using wwpn number of sand switch port 2 okay so to the port 2 hba2 is connected okay and then s7 and s8 okay so it's very easy to understand in a soft zoning we use wwpn of server hbas and storage ports and in hard zoning we use wwpn of sand switch ports to which our hba and the storage ports are connected great let's move to the next slide so once you understand zoning okay uh, then zoning commands you should know okay so these commands uh, work on a, a brocade sand switch okay so you can see uh, first command is zone create okay so syntax is very simple zone create then zone name and the members of the zone okay so in this case zone create win h1 underscore emc we are using the same name which we uh, used in the example okay and then uh, comma and in double quotes you can see wwpn of hba1 wwpn of spa1 and wwpn of spp p1 okay then create the second zone by using the zone create command win h2 underscore emc okay it should be in double quotes then comma then in double quotes wwpn of hba2 wwpn of spa p1 and wwpn of spp p1 we require okay so once these zones are connect uh, created we have to add that one in a configuration file okay so if it is a new setup in that case you have to create a configuration file and to create a configuration file command is cfg create okay so cfg create configuration file name in this case i have used uh, quickly learn config so ql config and uh, then i have added win h1 underscore emc so minimum one zone is required to create a configuration file once the configuration file is created okay no need to create the uh, another file to you know add another zone so you can use the same configuration file so cfg add and double quotes configuration file in this case ql config and then comma and in double quotes win h2 underscore emc so this way you can add your both zones into the configuration file okay once it is added okay so remember this one uh, whatever change you make into the configuration file compulsory you have to fire this command if you want to save that one so cfg save is the command okay so after firing cfg save whatever configuration we have created and added will be saved into the configuration file once it is saved you have to fire cfg enable command so cfg enable ql config uh, basically it will enable configuration file and our zones will be activated okay so whether it is activated or not we can check that one by firing cfg show command in cfg show it shows a defined configuration also and activated configuration also if you just want to see the activated configuration you can fire cfg actv show okay so these commands are useful whenever uh, you want to perform a zoning in a sand switch environment and remember this one it works on a brocade sand switches okay guys so if you like this video click on a like button subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, click on a notification bell icon so that you will get notified once the new video is uploaded thank you for watching